everyone. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to be practicing some yoga nidra with you. I hope you're all safe and happy and healthy. What is yoga nidra? Well, some of you may not know what it is, some of you may have heard about yoga nidra, about mindfulness, and you think when you're practicing it, that you're obtaining it, which you are. But the most important thing about mindfulness is being able to practice it outside of your session, in real life. The importance of mindfulness is to be able to switch off when you need to. To be able to put your head on a pillow when you're going to sleep and actually be able to fall asleep. How many of us stay awake at night worrying about things that we really can't control? We really don't want to be thinking about. Yet these thoughts, these stresses in our lives are still with us when we're trying to find peace, find calm in our mind. So the objection of yoga nidra is to learn to control your thoughts. Learn to control your mind in a positive way. So when you do close your eyes at the end of the day, you fall asleep. You don't worry about things in life that you big mouthful and he derived me into Kama Sanyasa to practice under the name of Dipika which means little lamp. I was 19 years old and I stayed in the pool learning everything I could from him. Where I wanted to learn, somewhere where yoga was originated from, came from, the true roots, the heritage of yoga. So the only thing I've westernized it with is a little bit of music. But apart from that, it's exactly how I learned it. Are you 
you ready to begin? All you're going to need is some quiet, somewhere that you hopefully won't be disturbed, somewhere that you feel safe, somewhere that you can maybe dim the lights to create a little bit more of a tranquil setting. Once you've found somewhere quiet and safe, you need a mat or maybe even a towel or if you've got somewhere comfortable such as a carpeted home, you don't need nothing at all. <laughs> you just need yourself. There are three rules in yoga that I strive to keep and they are do not copy, do not compare and do not compete. You are your own individual. This is your session. You get from it what you give to it. So just take it as it comes, take it easy and just enjoy it. Okay? Right, now that the introductories are over, shall we begin? I'm going to start you off on your feet. Okay? So, when you're ready, stand up nice and tall. Take a deep, calming breath in and feel your breath. And then exhale a cool, calming, long, deep breath out. Try again. Close your eyes this time. You're going to take a deep breath in. Fill up your lungs. And a cool, calm breath out. This is your last round. Reach up. And gently back down. This time we're going to grow. I'm going to ask you to lift off your heels. So we're going to push up into a little bit of balance. And then slowly lower your weight back down to up. Again, big breath in. Push up the palms, reach through the arms, and then balance back down safely. Last one, pick up the heels, reach up through the arms, and then reground yourself back down to earth. And relax the arms by your side. Can you circle out the shoulders for me a few times? Bring them up towards the ears and roll them slowly into your spine. Back pockets, think about them, visualize them. 
Pick the shoulders up and slowly circle them back. Last one and then relax back. Bring yourself a little bit closer to the top of your mat or towel. Are you ready to run through some salutation with me? The chakras that I mentioned with some salutation are Sanskrit. Chakras are energy points in yoga. I will do my best to explain them to you. The objection is to realign your energy points, your chakras, to obtain balance and harmony within the physical body, which will then have a knock-on effect to create balance within the mental body. Bring your hands into your hearts. This is known as Pranama Asana, prayer position, prayer pose. Close your eyes for a few moments. Rock back on your heels and your toes very, very slowly, not to lose your balance, but just to become conscious of your feet. When you're ready, open up your eyes and think about your soul being placed into the ground, into earth. Ground yourself through the soles of your feet. Find a comfortable start. Shoulders above the ankles, head above the shoulders, hands into Anahata Chakra, the heart's energy point. Take a deep, long breath in. Lift up through the fingertips, stretch up the arms, reach for the sky, and then take a baby back bend, just a small lean back, and look up towards the heavens. Your focus now goes into Vita Kudi Chakra into your throat. On your out breath, exhale, forward fold. Start to reach down towards your ankles and lower your arms. Head between the arms if it will go. Reach for the ground and stretch out the back of the legs. Stretch your hips up towards the sky. Your focus now goes on to Swadhi Stana Chakra in your lower back. From here for me please, can you place your hands to the ground? Now you need to bend your knees as much as you wish to so your hands can safely flatten to the floor. Take your right foot and step back. Drop your knee down to the ground. Flatten your ankle. And then lift your chest of your back. You're in equestrian pose now, and your focus goes on your Anya Chakra between your two arms. If you wish to, I'm going to encourage you and invite you to stand up ever so slightly and balance. And then look up. chest back down to the ground to your thigh and your hands to the floor. We're going to push back the hips and find Kabatasana which is mountain pose. Tap under your back toe. Lift off your back knee and then stride back so both feet are almost together and push your hips up towards the sky. Head between your arms. Push your heels into earth. Your focus goes back into your throat to be Sukhudi Chakra. From here, you're going to lower both knees down to the ground very slowly. You're going to lower your chest. Flatten your feet. Lower your hips. And then I'm just going to invite you to come to Sphinx pose. Elbows by your waist. Ten toenails flat on the ground if you can. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. 
pick up your chin ever so slightly and feel the stretch in your lower back. naturally, long, deep, flowing breaths. Your focus is on Manakura Chakra, in your navel, your stomach, your abdominal region. Focus on this energy point, take your mind to this bodily area, this body part, and think about energy around your stomach. When you're ready, exhale and bring your hands back. Tuck under your toes, push your body weight up, and back into your heels. Back to Pavata Sana, mountain pose. Focus back between your energy point in your throat. Now, for some people, they struggle to stride their foot all the way between their hands. So listen for me, please, for this instruction. You're going to bring your right foot as close to the center of your hands as it will go. But, once you have landed, place the back knee down. A common mistake is people try and go too far and they fall. Back knee goes down first, wherever you have managed to land, that then will allow you to bring your hand and assist you back forward. Round two, I will explain further. But for now, we'll get back into a question pose. So lift yourself up and take your eyes to the sky. Exhale, bring your chest back to your thigh. Tuck under your back foot, step off the back knee and step forward. Take a deep breath in, lift up, baby back bend, eyes up, hands finish back into your heart. Find your breath again, ready for round two. Exact same sequence, left leg will lead. Pranamasana's prayer pose. Find comfort, find peace, find stillness in your heart. Take a deep breath in, take a long breath out. From prayer position, you're going to reach up to and lean back, eyes to the sky, focus goes on the Sahudi Chakra, energy point in your throat. On your next out breath, start to forward fold. Push your hips up nice and tall. Stretch the back of the legs. Your focus goes on your lower back, Swadhisthana Chakra. Lift up your head slightly, bend your knees, and take your left foot back. Bring yourself back into equestrian pose. Eyes. And focus to your third eye energy point and your chakra. Exhale, bring your 
fingertips back to your front thigh. Tuck onto your back foot. Step off the back knee. Stride into mountain of Atasana. Focus goes on Bisu Kudisha in your throat. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Focus on your abdominal region, Manipura Chakra. Breathe calmly. Breathe deeply. When you're ready, bring your hands back beside you. Tuck your toes under. Push back into your heels. Heels down to earth. Hips up to sky. Big breath in, you're going to leap forward on your left leg. Drop your back knee first. Wherever you have landed, perhaps not all the way through to your hands, you get to help your ankle forwards. Lift up slowly to a question, eyes up to the sky. One more sequence of sun salutation. A little bit quicker this time. Once you have learned sun salutation, you can do this as a full asana. If this is maybe the only asana you ever do with yoga, you're reaching through every single muscle of the body. It relates to 12 sequences on the right, 12 on the left totaling 24 sequences and it mimics the zodiac signs. So let's bring our hands into our heart, Anahata Chakra, Pranamaasana. See fire, see red. Reach up to the sky, breathe in. Reach through the fingertips and lean back. Focus on your throat, Visu Hudri Chakra, exhale, forward fold. Focus on your lower back, Swadhi Stana Chakra, take a right step back. Lower down into equestrian pose, look up towards the sky. Your focus goes to Anya Chakra, third eye energy point. Exhale, press your chest back to your thigh. Make sure your back toe is tucked under, lift off the back knee and step back into mountain pose, Kavatasana. Exhale, drop the knees, drop the chest, and lower down to the belly. Manapura Chakra. Stretch your lower back. Bring your hands back beside you. 
Get ready to push back into Pavatasana, which is mountain pose. Exhale, press back, tuck the back toes under. Step forward, right leg, drop to back knee, lift up into equestrian. Focus on third eye, energy point, under chakra, exhale. Press under the back toes, lift off the back knee, stride forward. Take a deep breath in, lift up, lean back, hands back to Anahata Chakra. Get ready to go again, left leg will lead. Take a deep breath in, lift up the abs, lean back, exhale, forward fold. Take a deep breath in here and then exhale it out for the left leg, drop the back knee, lift up the chest, lift up the shoulders, exhale, press the front chest and thigh together, lift up the back knee, step into mountain pose, Pavatasana. Are you still with me? If so, can you drop your knees? Can you drop your chest? Can you lift yourself up to space? Catch up with me if you have been left behind. Hopefully not. Ready to push back into mountain pose. Tuck the toes under. Bring hands back beside you. Push up. Press back. We go to leaping step forwards on the back knee. Drop it. Help the front foot forwards. Lift up into a question when you're ready. Well done everyone, that was some salutation. I know you've been working quite tirelessly for some time. So in a moment or two, we're going to cool it down and go into our mindfulness, into our meditation part of this class. Stay with me for now. When you're ready, feet back to where you began, back to where we started. Relax in your breath, find comfort in your breath. Bring your fingers back to the crown of your head. And reach up through your arms and grow tall. back down to touch the crown of your head. Can you grow a little bit taller for me? And now feel your stretch. Is it the same as before you began? Or do you feel a little bit longer? A little bit stronger, perhaps? There is no right, there is no wrong with yoga nidra. This is your class. This is your stretching. This is your mindfulness. You decide. Reach off your heels. Pick them up and reach for the sky. And then slowly lower down back to earth. Can you try two more? Reach up through the palms, stretch up the elbows. And lower back down. Let's do one more. The 
relax the arms by your side and then just bring the shoulders up towards the ears and do some rotations for me a couple of times, leaving them in the back pockets each time you roll them behind. Relax that. Make sure you've got either a pillow or something that you feel comfortable with to prop your head up with so you can lie down in relaxation and not be disturbed or find that you need to shuffle about too much. Lie down everybody. So bring yourself safely and slowly to the mat. If you do not wish to lie down in relaxation, prop yourself up somewhere that you can sit upright. If you prefer, and if you can, find a comfortable position that you can lie down in and close your eyes and feel relaxed. So I'm going to sit down now and I'm going to hopefully have you with your eyes shut. Make sure now's the time that you've switched off your mobile phones or you've switched off all music or anything that would disturb you. It's very, very hard to get back into mindfulness and meditation once you've been disturbed. So let's cross our fingers that this time you can close your eyes and switch off. When you've found a comfortable position, close your eyes. First thing we're going to focus upon now is your breathing. I want you to breathe deep enough that you can feel your breath. I want you to breathe loud enough that you can hear your breath. Allow your breathing to calm you. Listen for it. Allow it to hypnotize you. Allow the sound of your breath to soothe you. With your eyes closed, what colours can you see behind your closed eyes? What shapes can you see? Now use your sense of hearing. What noises can you hear in the distance? Do not let them distract you. Do not think about them so intently that they become distractions. Just listen for noises such as birds, Cars, people talking, the wind, the rain. What can you hear? And then one by one, start to let it come closer to where you are. Start to listen to noises closer to you. From perhaps my voice, the music, until you can hear the sound of your own movement, the sound of your own breath. I'm now going to encourage 
encourage you to focus on your physical body for a moment or two. Do you feel any discomfort? Do you feel any pain at this very moment in time? Is any particular area of your body causing you discomfort? Causing you pain at this time. Focus upon that area. Breathe inwards and direct your breath towards that area that you feel perhaps a niggle, a pain, a tingling, a numbness. If any particular area of your body at this very moment in time is causing you any disruption, direct your breath straight back. Cool it, calm it, and soothe that area. Take the power of your breath, the power of your positivity, and direct it where it's needed the most within your body. And then breathe out from that particular area. Breathe out any negativity, any pain or any discomfort and let it go. Try again. Perhaps the same area. Perhaps a different area within your body. If you have no discomfort, if you have no pain whatsoever in your physical body, breathe from top to toe. Just breathe. Focus on cooling and calming your physical body through your breath. Bring your mind now and your awareness back and let's focus upon your mental body. How do you feel right now? Ask yourself that question. Do you feel tired? Do you feel energized? Do you feel happy, sad, anxious, excited? How do you feel? Whatever emotions run into your mind, acknowledge it, become aware of it, do not change it, do not judge it, do not critique it, just acknowledge it and then accept it, accept how you feel. Whatever stress you have right now, Whatever worries there are in this world, it is not for you to worry about. Worrying will not fix it. Worrying will not change it. Think of positive emotion. Think about how you want to feel. And then hold on to it. Feel that emotion running through you. 
feel the power of that emotion, the power of positive thinking, and hold on to it. Let it run through you. Let it engulf you. Hold on to positivity. Now take another deep breath in for me. Let it fill up your chest, your abdomen, your diaphragm. Let it expand your body. And exhale back out. A long, deep exhale all the way to the end. Try again. Take another deep breath in. And a long, encouraging breath out. What colours can you see behind your closed eyes once again? What shapes can you see behind your closed eyes once again? From the sound of your breathing, from the sound of your own movement, start to go a little bit further away from you. Start to listen to noises a little bit further from you to the point that you can hear noises beyond your room noises in the distance birds, people, cars, the weather one by one allow them to slowly start to distract you to awaken you to bring you back. Make very small movements in your fingers and very small movements in your toes. Start to disturb your position by fidgeting. However you wish to come up into a seated position, please take your time now to slowly bring yourself into a comfortable seated position. If you wish to, please bring your hands into Chino Mudra, which means gesture of the mind. Thumb and index finger seal a stamp. Bring your shoulders up to your ears and shrug them back. Lift up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Take a long breath out. Om Santi, Om Santi, Om Santi. Turn out your palms, your wrists, generate some heat and take that heat to your eyes. Two more times. Thank you very much for following along with me today. Have a lovely, restful remainder of your day or night. And I will see you very soon.